Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed the restoration of the 1950 pan head that used to be a burn up pile of shit and now she's beautiful. Um, we do have some, we're going to move to the next uh, episode which will be restoration of the, the transmission and then we'll move to the Langer carburetor, so on and so forth as we proceed. But I, I am a little torn uh, on, I got to make a decision and y'all can let me know in the comments below, but you know, if you watch the first episode where I'm identifying the uh, casting codes on this engine and the transmission and frame and if you haven't watched that go back and watch it but um, in that video we saw that the bottom end is a matching 1950 bottom end and when I say matching I'm talking about the casting codes were within weeks of each other which is typical on you know any engine or bike or whatever that's manufactured for that year model you know but the night the, the top end is 1952 same scenario I mean the heads are like three weeks apart roughly something like that cylinders right there with them so you know this all came together now where I'm torn is I bought the bike to uh, go through it and sell it and make some profit but you know your real persnickety uh, collectors they're gonna kind of detract from it because it's not every nut and bolt that rolled off the showroom floor that was married to that bike when it was born now to me I really believe and I said this in the first episode that the bike went down in 1952 because the sheet metal I had to repair it they had repaired it years ago but I mean it was not as fancy as we can do nowadays and so I know that the bike went down and we got 1950 sheet metal and 1950 bottom end transmission but 52 frame which back then the frames aren't as tough as ours now it, it's possible it could have got damaged and if you had some fins damaged on the the heads or or whatever they would have replaced them with whatever stock they had cast that was available in 1952 and so I really believe the old girl's got some history to her but on the same token I might be able to make more money restoring each part of it and selling it individual like you know I may in a few months decide if I gotta make this decision y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think but I may go ahead and list the engine on eBay uh, in a few months and sell it then the restored transmission do the same thing the frame sheet metal and so on and so forth but I haven't made my mind up yet because I know like my 04 heritage when I wrecked it obviously I had to put it back together 
uh, well, if I want to put it back together quickly for sure, with what was on the shelf at the time. And so she's a few couple years apart, you know, as far as matching numbers. And I can tell you that um, me and her, we've had a lot of history together. We've gone coast to coast many times. Matter of fact, I'm about to get on her and head to Sturgis, uh, the after Sturgis, Sturgis. But, um, and so if she was 100 years old and I was dead as a hammer and somebody tore her apart and parted her out because they're like, oh, well, it ain't all original. It didn't come off the showroom floor like that. I'd be rolling up. I might come back from the dead and kill their ass. I'm not sure. So y'all let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit subscribe. Hit the like button. Poke on that bell or whatever it is you're supposed to do so you can get the notifications. And uh, I'm tired. I'm uh, going to drink a cold beer. End it here. I'll see you on the next one.